Hi everyone, it's Tawanda from Lerunzo and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to create or recreate the Harry Potter invisibility cloak in Filmora. Right, so as you can see I've already opened up Filmora and imported my clips. For this tutorial you'll need two recordings. One should be an empty or blank slate of the area you're going to be doing your filming on for the green screen effect and the other one is the actual green screen recording itself. So the first thing we're going to do is click and drag the blank slate right at the bottom there. Let's just add two or three like that and then drag the invisibility cloak footage. I'm just going to adjust that and right about here should be fine. And then let's move our cursor. Okay, that's okay. So really it's not that difficult removing the green screen. Just double click on the footage if you're using Filmora like I am and then where it says chroma key under video you click in that box there and you can instantly see that the system is trying to figure out or it's trying to map out where the green screen is or rather it's removing that shade of green from the entire footage but you can see that it's not perfect right now it's grayed out so you need to pick the color dropper or the eyedropper tool and then select the shade of green you want removed. All right, so once you've done that, you can go ahead and adjust your offset and tolerance until your until that shade you want to remove has been keyed out. Like that. Now you can see it's gone. Now, because our video is shot on a background with green grass and those trees in the background there, you'll notice that in removing this shade of green, I've also removed the shade of green on those tree leaves and the grass. But that's one thing you need to look out for whenever you're shooting your, your footage. You have to make sure that the color you need to key out isn't in the background or isn't worn by the people or the actors in the shot. So in this case, since I'm using a green screen, wearing blue for me is fine. But if I were using a blue screen, it would have been a bad idea to wear blue because that would have been keyed out as well. So the reason why we actually added a blank slate is because of this. So right now you see that it actually looks invisible. That's because of the blank slate at the bottom here. If you remove the visibility from that, you'll see that it turns black. What we've done by keying out that green part is basically instructing the system that we need to delete or remove all traces of that shade or those shades of green so the system is identifying that part as blank that's why it's black and that's why you need a blank slate so you realize that whatever image or video you put underneath that it will actually show in that section where the green screen or the color you've keyed out is so let's just right let's just put that back on and then yeah that's just it basically that's it you click ok and yeah it's done simple as that that's how you create a harry potter invisibility cloak in filmora so depending on whichever video compositing software you're using the steps are almost the same that's basically keying out the green screen but if you feel you need help or guidance with removing the green screen using premiere pro or after effects let me know in the comment section below and i'll work on a tutorial for that for you i'm showing you how that's done in premiere pro and after effects so yeah don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like and share the videos with your friends your peers your colleagues and yeah thank you guys for watching